Democracies was founded in the year 2000 by the United States and Poland. And in recent years, it's undergone a transformation from being a forum where democracies would get together into a platform for democracies to get things done. And today, it's engaged around the world on a whole range of issues where we have common interests in safeguarding human rights, advancing the rule of law, and giving citizens access to opportunity. If you think of democracy as an operating system, then the community of democracies is like the users group for that operating system. And it's made up of governments that have a commitment to advancing democracy around the world, as well as civil society organizations and representatives of the private sector who share that goal. And it works on two different ways. First, it helps improve the user interface between citizens and governments and improve conditions for civil society around the world. And second, it helps countries that are installing the operating system and going through democratic transitions to be more successful in building the institutions that they need to make democracy work. Tomorrow in Geneva, representatives of the community's governing council will be coming together to discuss a variety of important issues. We'll be looking at the events unfolding in Ukraine and how the community of democracies can help support the democratic transition that's underway in that nation. We'll also be entertaining requests for membership in the Governing Council from countries including Guatemala and Thailand. Beyond that, we'll be looking at a range of difficult human rights issues like North Korea and inaugurating a new working group on the freedom of expression to help advance that important principle around the world. Civil society is hardwired into the community of democracies. Civil society organizations sit on the governing council of the community. They're involved in every one of the community's working groups, and they're integral to the way that we make decisions and carry out uh, the work that we're engaged in day to day. The community of democracies has taken a leading role in supporting President Obama's Stand with Civil Society initiative. And together with partners around the world, the community is working to apply diplomatic pressure in countries and cases where civil society comes under threat. In the 21st century, successful societies are going to be built on three pillars. You need a government with strong, accountable institutions, you need a vibrant private sector, and you need civil society. And in civil society, we come together in civic organizations, in religious congregations, uh, in a variety of different groups, and work together through peaceful means to make our nations better. And unless citizens have the freedom to solve those problems, there's no way that we're going to be able to address the full range of challenges that we face in the world today.